Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my nipple piercing experience with you guys. I got my nipples pierced at the end of October, so it's been, it's been about four months. They're not fully, fully healed yet, but they're definitely healed to the point that like I don't really have to do too much to them anymore. I've had so many questions about it, so might as well just put it all into one video. I also let you guys ask me questions on my story. I put a little question box so I'm also going to be answering those but first I'm just gonna kind of briefly tell you how it went and then I'm gonna get into the question so if you're interested in hearing about my experience then just keep on watching so I have been wanting to get my nipples pierced for years and for some reason this was the one piercing or that well it's two piercings technically this was the only time that I was like terrified to get it done and I just kept not doing it because I was like really scared of the pain. It's weird because even when I was like 15, I used to like pierce myself, mostly my ears. And like I have tattoos, I've had many piercings, but this was just the one thing that I was really scared to do. And then in October, I just told my best friend, you know what? Tomorrow I'm getting my nipples pierced, I'm just doing it. Like I just have to go and do it. We went over there and I was just like, well, I wanna get my nipples pierced. I think I paid about 70 euros, like all together or like 75. Just had to fill out a form, you know, like the things that you always have to like sign and stuff. And then we sat down. I was really, really nervous. Obviously I took off like all of my clothes at the top, like no bra, nothing. And first she just made, um, she used like a marker to I guess like make the dots of where she was gonna pierce and I could have a look in the mirror. I kind of was just like, just do it. So she made the dots and then she clamped, I think when she started on the left side, she clamped it, which is really uncomfortable. And then she obviously like told me to breathe in and then when you breathe out, usually they put the needle through. Guys, the pain <laughs> was excruciating. I've never felt pain like that before. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Some people told me like, oh, it didn't hurt at all. And then someone like, it hurts so bad. I'm I'm part of the hurts really bad club. Like it, obviously it's different for everyone. It depends on how sensitive your nipples are. I don't think this has to do with pain, like your pain level, like your pain tolerance, because I can handle a lot of pain. But this was so bad. I was like, whoa. And then putting the piercing through was even worse. If you're only getting one done, it's like fine like it hurts but like you know after that you're fine but because of the fact that obviously like your adrenaline goes down after you've got pierced having to do another one like you're not gonna have that adrenaline rush you had with the first one so that one hurt even more <laughs> she did the same thing and I was like oh my god what have I got myself into blood a little bit nothing too crazy and then she just cleaned it up told me how to take care of it and I paid and I left and it was uh, it was a lot like I'm not gonna lie it was really painful and I have to say that after that my friend and I went and we just like went to sit down and drink somewhere and it was burning so bad and it was also like the Sun was out so it was kind of like warm like we were sitting outside in the Sun and it was burning really really bad and they was just, like I wasn't wearing a bra like I took off my bra and I was wearing this super thin like t-shirt like it was just, like a cotton t-shirt was super thin and even that hurt so so bad and then i got home and i literally just had to lay on the couch which is my like i pulled up my shirt and it just had they had to be free because it was so like the touch of the cotton like the fabric on my nipples hurt so bad like i couldn't even do that and it was like the thinnest piece of fabric like it was so stupid basically what i did because it was just hurting so bad i laid there for like an hour and then my mom gave me i think it was ibuprofen like a thousand milligrams it was just kind of sensitive but it didn't hurt as much anymore which is really nice i could just wear you know clothes on top of it and i think for the next couple of days i kept taking like one of those a day just to kind of get me through the day and i couldn't really sleep on my stomach which was really frustrating because i love sleeping on my stomach so yeah that's kind of how it went for me i um yeah it hurt a lot i'm really happy with them though I'm obviously not going to show them because this is YouTube. Let me get into the questions now. That way I can kind of elaborate more on the things that I just talked about. Can you train right after you get pierced? I'm guessing you mean workout. At the time, I wasn't really actively working out, so I didn't. But wearing a sports bra on top is very tight, so that wouldn't be very comfortable. I would definitely wait at least like five days. Not because like you have to. Like I'm sure you're allowed to. 
but wearing a sports bra and having it be so tight on your nipples is going to be very painful so i don't think you're going to even want that even now sometimes when i wear a sports bra and like after the gym i like get home and i always first have breakfast before i shower so i still have my sports bra on and sometimes like having it on for too long hurts my nipples like it's just kind of it's too much on the piercing i'm guessing kind of because the piercing starts kind of dig into your skin i guess i don't know on a scale of one to ten what was the pain level? Absolutely a 20. Like, this was the most painful thing I've ever done to myself. Uh, yeah. Can they still pierce it if your nipple isn't hard? So mine, I'm not sure if mine was hard. I think because of the cold, because I was sitting there obviously without a bra, um, they just got hard by themselves. But they, they don't have to be hard because they, I'm pretty sure they just make the dots and they clamp it. And then as they're like obviously messing with it, it's just going to become hard, I think. Um, but I don't think that's an issue. They can just pierce it. It's not really about that. Would you do it again? The thing I don't know. I mean in the future. I want to get a um, Boob job, so I'm gonna have to take them out and I would want them again But I'm not sure if I could mentally do that Unless like my nipples lose sensitivity after getting a boob job then I would I don't know It was a lot. I'm not sure if I would do it again. Does it get hooked behind clothes a lot? Like when you're putting on your bra and taking it off. I haven't really had it get stuck like behind clothes um, One thing that happened to me. I was basically I was in the shower So our shower doors like the end of it kind of has a little bit of like a groove in it like a hook so they kind of like go into each other like that so I opened one of them because I wanted to grab something and then my, I, yeah, it was my left nipple. The piercing got caught behind it. <laughs> that was so painful. I honestly, like, I was scared to look because I was like, my nipple was like, oh, like, it got ripped off. Like, there's nothing there, but it was fine. But yeah, you do have to be careful, but it doesn't really get stuck behind clothes for me personally. But I would just, like, be careful when you're doing stuff like grabbing something while you're in the shower and then getting stuck behind the shower door. <laughs> I'm quite big chested and wanted to get mine done. Do you think they only suit smaller boobs? I think they look good on everyone. I think they look really good on small boobs, on big boobs, on normal, medium-sized boobs. Looks good on everyone. So don't even worry about it. If you want to get them done, get them done. How much time does it take to heal completely? So they say about six to nine months. That's when you're like allowed to change the jewelry. Right now, like mine, I've had mine for four months, but I wouldn't say they're completely healed because they do still kind of get crusties here and there. Can you breastfeed with pierced nipples? I'm almost like positive that you can, which like it's kind of logical because the ball of the piercing could come off and your baby could choke on it and it's also just like not sanitary i think so yeah if you're gonna breastfeed obviously take them out like i yeah <laughs> aftercare they told me to just clean it in the shower with just water nothing else um i did start to notice that after i think like three to four weeks it was starting to get a little pussy and I was like, how, how is that possible? Because I've been doing what they told me. So I bought this like sea salt solution spray for piercings. And I started using that. And that definitely helped also heal it. Um, I just used that twice a day. So in the morning and at night. And yeah, that worked really well. Eventually kind of dried out a little. So it made, made it kind of uncomfortable. So yeah, after I felt like it wasn't pussy anymore, I just stopped using that. And now when I just get into the shower, I actually use this one. It's actually kind of like a hand soap. But it's like a 0%, so it has like no chem. I'm not sure if it doesn't have chemicals. It just has like no perfume, no this, no that. And I actually also use that to like clean my tattoos. So when I'm in the shower, I just take it and I kind of just rub it on and then wash it off and that just cleans them. And yeah, that's been working great for me. But I wouldn't do that on like a freshly pierced nipple. Why did you do it? Because I wanted it. <laughs> Does it make your nipples more sensitive? I personally haven't noticed that like I think they're just as sensitive as they were before like I do have quite sensitive nipples so no not for me personally can you wear a bra after the piercing is done I personally didn't find it comfortable maybe if you're just wearing kind of like a bralette or something you could but personally like I didn't even my t-shirt on it hurts so like I would just kind of not wear anything on it how long did it take to get them done since they do them individually it was honestly really fast like I think I was including like putting the piercing in cleaning it up with like taping it off and like also putting the dots and stuff i think it maybe was like 15 minutes max it was really fast is it true that you can't wear a bra until 6 to 12 months after it's done that's not true i've never heard that definitely like in the beginning it's quite sensitive to wear a bra but now like i can wear bras like 
literally I. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. Maybe other people who also have their nipple spears can share their experience as well. If you do, share your experience because honestly, everyone has such a different experience. Like I've had so many people tell me it didn't hurt for them. And then I was out here like, y'all have been lying to me because this was really painful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe. Also, make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.